नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस स्पेशल प्रोग्राम ऑन अवर बिगनिंग ऑफ अवर वैल्यूशन सर्वे कोर्स विच इज अ in it's a the new kind of initiative by institution of values uh this uh, i'm quite fortunate to have our uh, president uh, mr p k thagarajan ji with us on this uh, uh, and i thank him for sparing his valuable time in a very short pe uh, period of time and uh, so and uh, thanks uh, mr nitin lele ji Who is uh, our uh, council member and the chairman of education and research uh, committee? Uh, myself, Vinay Goel, and uh, founder of the Secretary Institution of Values and MD and CEO of uh, IOV Registered Value Foundation. Uh, this uh, this is a very ambitious uh, project undertaken by IOV, and uh, basing on uh, our uh, vision and mission of expanding the valuation ecosystem working on the ground level to see how the uh, uh, how to, uh, how we can fill the fill a gap being felt around the, the nation regarding the working as a val valuer uh, friends uh, you will appreciate that every professional if, uh, from a professional angle if we see every profession requires some services to be uh, to be taken care by uh, specialized some specialized people valuation has become a profession initially long back it was like an occupation but when uh, we went into self regulatory system with the in, uh, advent of uh, institution of valuers we are now reaching that level where the profession is established and it is in demand from all stakeholders across whether it's a uh, government department ministries authorities regulators mm -hmm. banking sector financial and uh, other uh, sectors uh, day by day the demand is growing and valuations and values are becoming important in any transaction be it a uh, loan giving uh, process or uh, be it uh, 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 property related matters and for anything valuation is required for any transaction of such kind whether you are selling of the shares or stocks or creating a value of uh, of the, your assets movable immovable and all sorts of uh, assets so uh, it was a very well thought out uh, program mm -hmm. by institution of values over the years uh, there were so many uh, so much of demand from our fraternity itself go ahead doctor go do it there is a gap we are uh, a valuer himself cannot do all the works himself so almost every valuer who is into re really into a profession requires some assistant like any other profession if you take for example a doctor he requires the assistance of medical uh, professionals with him uh, nursing or what or what and all that and uh, architects and engineers normally employ uh, the doctorsmen even a a young architect or inexperienced uh, architect they serve in their offices as draftsmen and it's just uh, so many examples like that in uh, like uh, law if uh, the advocate requires uh, there is uh, assistance uh, in the form of uh, whether a person is qualified or not but he is he requires those trained or the, those people who know the uh, the, uh, the profession requirement professional requirement now uh, seeing all these things and uh, to expand our base to ex expand uh, the whole the whole ecosystem of valuation where a person who is assisting or who is serving as a specialized person in particular fields can be of value so this is like value adding and the program is targeted 
to create that workforce where the this pool of uh, pe uh, people working for valuers or working on their own or house whatsoever manner is there to be chosen from. So this is the basic uh, aim and uh, as we have already uh, spelled that uh, it is a, it is fulfilling the aspirations uh, for innumerable and diverse career opportunities, uh, creating and capacitating a workforce in valuation and promoting the valuation profession amongst the future generation by upskilling them in the field of valuation and filling the gap in the profession for quality and quantity of experienced personnel required by the values of all asset classes. So I think it is uh, self-explanatory, the program, and this is in accordance uh, with the within with our bylaws of uh, institution of values, where we have a provision for valuation surveyors. And in accordance to that only, we have uh, designed the program. And basically, once a person enrolls, he, he is being issued a student membership. Whosoever will be issued a student membership certificate. And uh, then the program, uh, uh, just a brief, uh, I would like to share with you that we have a, a theoretical part, which may last from three to four months. And then there is an internship uh, criteria of six months with an experienced valuers. And uh, the candidate or the uh, uh, participant uh, is required to fulfill his internship in valuation. So for that purpose, it will have a, uh, uh, an assignment-based internship where one assignment complete the valuation assignment and uh, including a site inspection and all those, uh, what yes. has, whatever he has learned during his uh, uh, theoretical part. Mm -hmm. So we can explore uh, this uh, this brochure, the spatially curriculum on the course. So uh, that I will come to you later on uh, regarding the curriculum of the course. This is just a basic uh, uh, information I uh, I was sharing. And it will be on the hybrid, uh, in the hybrid mode. And uh, the entire course, uh, course uh, we emphasize uh, uh, with three to six months and uh, plus internship and all that. But we have a flexi uh, option of the entire program. So uh, assessment will be done on the sector. We have six sections in all. So we would be soon uh, sharing that uh, display. There will be three certifications uh, we will be issuing. One is the, I have already explained, IOB standard student membership on enrollment. And then second is the certificate of credit on clearing of examination. The, 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 there are six uh, sections where credits will be offered. And then finally, after completion of course and all, certificate of valuation surveyor. And that he will fulfill that. Uh, we will issue the certificate accordingly after all the formalities are uh, completed. So this is uh, just a glimpse of uh, the brochure. I uh, already explained. Okay. So now uh, coming to the curriculum of the course, it uh, we have divided it into six, if you see, six parts. It has six parts. Further explanations will be given by Mr. Nitin Lege. Uh, he, has, he is with, with me, so he will explain further. So six sections and uh, uh, where uh, so one uh, one is a computer proficiency soft skill. Second is a language proficiency and communication skills. Third is basics of valuation. Fourth is laws related to valuation. Fifth is valuation. And then six is the data collection and management. So all these sections where we have uh, uh, other details will follow and uh, then the examinations will be taken according to the uh, com completion of the course. And this uh, course is, we have designed in a very flexible manner where a person can opt for a particular section, uh, go through this learning process and then can take examination accordingly. 
So in that relation, we have the payment and all those systems in uh, those, uh, and we have aligned with this. Uh, uh, again, uh, sectors, uh, we, I think uh, I have already explained about the sectors that use valuation. It can, it, it has to be clear. But the idea is to basically, uh, basic, we, we want to cl clear the general people who are not aware of valuation, that what valuation is, is a basic, basic course being offered. And who can then really work with the, any valuer or wherever they wish to then there, that is their lookout. And uh, the valuers, uh, we have got a very good, already we have got a very good response. And in all uh, this thing, we are uh, planning to start it on 23rd of September, uh, 2023. So uh, accordingly, the slavers and uh, other things will follow to the enrolled uh, people. So I would request uh, uh, Nitin Lenin okay. to clarify and uh, in detail about the curriculum of the course and any other detail he would like. To. Please, Nitin Lenin. Thank you so much. I will talk with you two languages, Hindi and English, so that it will be easy for you. First of all, how did we come to this course? How we came to our mind to develop this course? Now, every valuer, he has some assessment in his mind. Now, every valuer, he has some assessment of matriculate level or 12th level in his office. He begins with a uh, office boy, pun, or communicator. Yaha ka letter, waha de do, waha ka letter, yaha lao. Go to the bank and uh, bring the documents. Submit the report to the bank. Speak to the bank manager why the fees has not been received. And all that sort of communication he does. And every person has got such type of assistance in his office. तो ऐसे लोग क्या होता है धीरे 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 दे गेट डेवलप और राधर इफ समबडी न्यू इवन इफ इज इंजीनियर ही इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन योर ऑफिस दिस प्यून टाइप ऑफ पर्सन ही हैज गॉट अ बेटर नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग वैल्यूएशन देन द इंजीनियर इन ऑफिस ऑफ कोर्स इंजीनियर बिल्ड सिम आफ्टर द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ कपल ऑफ इयर्स but still the utility of such person you cannot ignore. I say आदमी को आप इग्नोर नहीं कर सकते हो। तो हमारे मन में यही आया कि why not to develop this category in a better way? ये जो already office में काम करते हैं थोड़ी थोड़ी ऊपरी ऊपरी उनको पहचान है तो why not to give them a special knowledge? so that their skill can be developed and enhanced. तो ये कोर्स का उद्देश्य यही है कि ये जो हमारे ऑफिस में असिस्टेंस है ऑफ क्यों टाइप ऑफ पीपल क्यों देम सब दिखनी थी, because ये बैंक में जाते मेनी टाइम आया उसकी डिटेल कि if I go to go to bank I am not introduced to manager but this क्यों टाइप ऑफ पर्सन he is well known to the manager and uh, manager has got uh, more flexibility to speak to him rather than speaking to me. Because he daily aata jata rata hai, to apne aap kuch relation develop ho jati hai. To aise logo kya uh, skill develop karke, unko dignity dene ke liye, and of course they will gain a great knowledge out of this. Uh, because they are in that environment of valuation. एक इकोसिस्टम जो बोलते हैं वैल्यूएशन की दो इकोसिस्टम इफ वी कंसीडर बैंक एस ए क्लाइंट देन द बैंक लोन टेकर लोन गिवर अ वैल्यूअर अ लॉयर एंड स्टाफ इन द वैल्यूअर्स ऑफिस स्टाफ ऑफ द बैंकर्स ये सब मिलके वैल्यूएशन इकोसिस्टम बन जाती है एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ पर्सन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट इकोसिस्टम so why not to develop 
this person and give him a professional knowledge, particular knowledge. I, I don't expect uh, them to, uh, or rather we are not giving him the detailed knowledge of valuation, but at least uh, the environment in which he is growing, it should be, he should be developed. That is the whole motive. And if he develops, a valuer uh, will have great assistance in his reporting. Chuti chuti chize, when we go, go suppose we go to an industry, then uh, wo industry mein hame dekhna kya hai? Industry mein hame ye nahi dekhna hai ki what type of plaster is applied, what type of flooring is, what type of ceiling is, but what are the requirements of that industry? They said sugar cane industry hai, to usme a boiler hona jaruri hai. Usme all that machinery uh, is required. And how uh, wahan chimney honi jaruri hai, heat hai, wahan bagas hai, wahan molasses hai. To uh, wahan sugar industry, you cannot uh, measure on built-up area basis and value it on built-up area basis. But it has to be developed on capacity utilization basis. Ye, uh, 2000 ton ki sugar factory hai. Uh, ye, uh, ton ki sugar factory hai. Accordingly, we have to take the data from the sugar factory. Kitni hai, machine work kar rahi hai ya nahi kar rahi hai. See, there are thousands and thousands of machinery in the factories. Uh, we are just in the example of sugar factory, but any type of factory, there are thousands of machineries and only one valuer is not able to see each and every machinery. Uh, so the objective of collecting data, if he has got a trained person, will be simplified, it will be easier. Agar aise log aapke saath hai, ki jo training le chuke hai, unko kya data collect karna ye maloom hai so that will facilitate the value and uh, it will ease in creation of the uh, creator ease in creation of the report so we are focusing this course on the substar who are uh, matriculate plus 12 plus yeah uh, 10 plus iti yeah 10 plus uh, dc that is minimum. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah. 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 Also, person. Yeah. So yeah. Few B -tech. engineers or uh, uh, other graduates, they are also uh, sir, uh, sir, able to join. Sir, if uh, if I from your uh, talk, if I gather, uh, it is like the a valuer has to do multiple activities uh, during your valuation assignment, like taking the. Uh, you know, uh, latter appointment latter dealing with the client and then going to the site, site inspection and uh, then accordingly data site se uthana hai or kahi se usko data ko match karna hai uh, jo available aaj kal Google pay or pay but a lot of data is available yeah, yeah, so yeah. he has to verify those data and even land if we, land, if we talk about the land documents so land documents jo mujhe mile hain unko dekhna ki whether they are right or wrong or what what uh, else we can do and then or uh, with all the data collected uh, one has to prepare a report and it has to be in line with the in valuation standards or iba guidelines or as per the act whatever the act is applicable so there is a lot of responsibility lot of work involved with a valuer and suppose I am an individual valuer. So all these things, I don't think this is a you know, possible thing. thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, or otherwise I'll mess up the entire uh, assignment. So uh, it is that gap, I would say. That, that gap, gap. Yes, that gap we are trying to bridge. And for that purpose only, um, we have prepared this course and we are now beginning this course to happen. And uh, there are other uh, matters as well in in the whole exercise if you ask me it it becomes a sort of social responsibility also as far as the values are concerned as well as the organizations are concerned 
we just cannot think that we are individuals. It's a teamwork. What you spoke about the valuation ecosystem, ki bank has, can the clerks have, some PM has, some manager has, a valuer has. I can say in nutshell that there is a, a, a service provider and there is a service seeker. So bank is a service seeker and a service provider is a valuer. But the jo dono, uh, uh, unke beech mein jo, uh, ecosystem hai, yeah. that involves a lot many people. So it's not alone two people. It, uh, it may, may have uh, 10, 50 or so many people around because then comes the third person. Stakeholders also are involved. There are, those are all part of ecosystem. So uh, you are very well explained, I think, in uh, bilingual उसके अंदर कंटेंट क्या है so i'm so, focusing on something but if he doesn't pick that then uh, uh, here the system kaam nahi karti sir so i think he, for that matter the our course uh, we have uh, you know if we go in detail yeah so we have uh, very well designed it uh, according to that proficiency you, you are talking about those gaps to fill those gaps even our uh, existing valuers can be can take benefit of uh, this yeah, course. Indeed. I'm not like uh, we should not feel, uh, uh, you know, degraded, degraded or something like that. Definitely not. Yeah. But it may still upgrade our uh, already existing uh, proficiency. Yeah. And yeah. Sometimes we have to learn the ABC also, sir. If you ask me, you tell me the alphabets of Hindi, mm -hmm. I may fail. <laughs> it's like that. So, uh, in uh, that sense, we have. Uh, we have divided like for computer proficiency, if uh, we uh, say it's like soft skills and basics of computer, which we which a, such kind of a person should be should be knowing, like internet use of internet, uh, email normal email Google surfing and data interpretation, and then the MS Office Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. One should be aware of how the Excel sheet works or how the Excel program is done. And then the AutoCAD and others. And for this purpose, we have we assume that a lot of not many people who would be joining, they may be already knowing these uh, subjects. So only they are uh, exempted, they can produce a proof of their knowledge regarding these subjects, and they will be exempted from the training process altogether. So they can bring yes, their sir, certificates. Uh, I can give you an example of today. I am in Delhi now. Uh, my office in Pune. Uh, we, uh, there is a bank loan case going on. So uh, today I uh, I received a call from my office. So I asked what happened in this case. Then uh, she said uh, there is no completion certificate nahi mila hai, or sanction plan bhi nahi hai. Then uh, I told my assistant uh, at least uh, reply them and tell them that we need completion certificate and plan without which this, so, this assignment cannot so go ahead. So this is important. Yeah. But the plan away from my office. But yeah. your assistant knows what is completion yeah. certificate and what is yeah. our sanction plan. Yeah. So these these very little things, but they have they different have the time. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, uh, when I go back to office and then see and then reply, it it's up to two three days. And then the English uh, sir, language proficiency and communication skills, we have adopted English as the language. But I would say that uh, different regions, uh, in addition to this English, they can themselves uh, be performed in their local languages. And English basic, we, we are going to uh, basic teaching, that is reading, like what you said, the reading. If they are able to read, what is this? And then the communication, what you explain, sir, very well explained, that uh, you have to communicate with the client or the stakeholder that will be our own way. Or uh, comprehending, like the Jobi Mke Paas hai, usko comprehend kar sake. Comprehend means ki you can understand what is required. 
of, of us as a service provider. What is required? Yes, that sir, is complicated. Uh, English proficiency is the thing. कि यहाँ ना हम उनको इंग्लिश सिखाने जा रहे हैं इंग्लिश का ग्रामर सिखाने जा रहे हैं या इंग्लिश सिखाने जा रहे हैं ऑब्जेक्टिव या दिस विल बी ऑब्जेक्टिव यानी कोई साइट पे गए तो वो साइट का डिस्क्रिप्शन कैसा करे तो फ्रॉम वन वर्ड दे हैव विल टीच देम टू मेक अ सेंटेंस एंड फ्रॉम टेन सेंटेंसेस मेक अ पैराग्र so that is how we so that is how uh, we intend to yeah. develop their skill or ye teeno tarike se land and building plant and machinery and sap everybody have separate skill set but we'll do it so uh, uh, just an just an uh, out of box i would say one one thing we will share we both were uh, like discussing our people who are preparing all these things so one of them who is very profound is she is english ma and very profound in English. She suddenly uh, told me, sir, I would like to do this course. <laughs> so I think, okay, you, you get enrolled immediately. You, 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 you will be, because she got, uh, you know, excited about to know what is really, they are working with us, but ultimately they don't know anything about the valuation. To know about the valuation and how, how she will be using some terminologies she wants to join this program. This just is, a, just uh, a every profession has got its uh, own uh, uh, set of words. Doctor Koi Bolega, Ilfa Kove, we don't know. Can we smell on the wing? Can we smell on the wing? If we can read doctor's language, like can we smell? They can only read the prescription of doctor. Yeah. How? Because they know all the all those terminologies. They are in friendly uh, yeah. terminology. And again, the basics of legal aspects and accountancy. That is Indian legal system, then the government executive legislator, legislature and judiciary, and then the laws of contract, laws of tort, auctions, basic of evidence, process of liquidation and auction, RERA Act, Indian Stamp Act, Environmental Protection Act. And then environment issues in valuation, but all these in basic. One should know what is it. That's all. Yeah, uh, when we do the valuation in uh, different cases, we have to come across different types of laws. To industry, so then we have to look so to basically uh, what, are the what are the documents related? Yeah. What is the law? Yeah. That's all basic, absolutely basic. So on the survey so topic, on the train level law. Absolutely basic, not the detail of it that the valuer himself should know. The valuer who has employed them, they should be knowing that detail. And other, like the law, National Building Code, and all these are very pertinent. Uh, this thing. And then the accounts and finances, we would like them to be able to read the balance sheets at, at least. So that when they take out what is balance sheet. Yeah. What is, this even is the other side, and this is the architect. I, I, I tell you, I am an architect. So I'm still very afraid of reading balance sheets. <laughs> so my lot of friends, engineers and architects, I know very well. They are they are really afraid. They got frightened. We don't want to read the balance sheet. But that is basic. That is but sir, uh, this particular thing reading uh, P and L and balance sheet. The person who has completed this course. He can get job with any office, not yes, only in the target Yes, this yes. knowledge is useful in any office, any type of profession. And then, of course, sir, valuation uh, topics, methods, and approaches of valuation, uh, valuation. What are the approaches and what all these things? And then, all, in all three classes of asset, land and building, plant and machinery, and security and financial, we are covering all three classes of assets. But all together, all together. Fundamental basic uh, training so that they become aware of what is it. And uh, uh, I, we are hoping that uh, even the students from across the country, and then there is very vital one is record keeping. Now, valuer sometimes may lose that patience or may lose that particular thing, and he requires assistance, sir. We, uh, we are working and we know that we are. Isko aap, uh, isme, Record the data, then we forget also where the data. No, it's a normal thing in computer yes. or otherwise file maybe phones are data. Yes, yeah, sir. I in my office I have got an assistant who is not uh, non-metric. 
<laughs> but if I ask her any paper, she produces me in three minutes. Yes. So similarly, the report writing now it it may cover letter of appointment for valuation, structure of report, style and content, role and importance of date, time, valuation, scope of valuation. The whole idea of the program is to upgrade and I would say improvement in quality of valuation as a whole. That is the idea. So that the assistance the valuers are receiving, they become one. Then there is no uh, differentiation. When the valuer is working, he knows he can trust, he can uh, to a particular level, then definitely the particular uh, the valuers who are particular were working in a particular asset or in a particular manner or a particular region uh, that that may change so he, he can further train them or upskill them further and institution of values is, uh, by the way is uh, uh, very well versed about all these difficulties and we go on taking up so many uh, webinars so many workshops we organize to be attended and we always uh, request or uh, invite our uh, members and others as well to come and join us and we are very specific about the valuation only so we, I'm, uh, we train only valuation good to you for uh, supporting this uh, our noble cause uh, because I, uh, I i see we always take workshops and seminars to upgrade the values but this is another way to uplift the values. Definitely. The, so the, we'll always get yes. from the year and above, but we never see this gets uplifted. Exactly. So this is an effort to uplift the values themselves. And you see the kind of quantum, the valuation now valuation is seen, valuation in profession. Quantum and the uh, much sought after the quality in, in the valuation the, by the society. I think this is the right time that we start getting uh, upgrading. What you have said is absolutely correct. Upgrading the overall ecosystem, ecosystem. introduction of new people, and in a way, we, we have we are fulfilling another very vital part is the social responsibility of all of us. We we all the society or the nation that we contribute yes. towards you know creating that employment specific employment skilled employment which is a which is a which is a requirement of the day yeah, uh, uh, when a mother cooks so she has to make a preparation first we pass kato tomato kato cut the vegetables make the spices ready and then uh, she has to just uh, cook so this is a base of uh, basis uh, base of cooking. Cooking के पहले जो करना है वो ये course कर देगा. सब ready मिलेगा and then the value it will be very easy for valuer to cook. So sir, PK uh, Tyagrajan ji is with us and sir, if you re remember recently we had a valuation standards training program in Coimbatore. We, we all three were there. Of course, our entire council was also there. Sir, if you remember our IBBA official who came down there, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Swami. Anasiman. Yeah, the GM of IBBA. He used uh, words, two words, that the valuer has to have the empathy and the ethics. And I like those words very much. Empathy and the ethics. The, he, the, the foundation is that, sir. Empathy. So now this is a kind of empathetical step that uh, uh, that we are trying to go ahead as. So uh, I would like uh, to share your views and share your uh, wisdom uh, since you have uh, you have a real big pot of uh, with, uh, visionary and wisdom uh, ideas. So just a few of them. We we will not have much time. <laughs> <laughs> because we are already in the 50. But I know that you can entire day, you can, uh, you, you know, you can spend the entire day uh, explaining us the wisdom and we have already taken. So, but few words for the participants who, who are quite huge in number, I am seeing. So, okay. sir, please, regarding this, uh, this course of. Give me the connection. Uh, so, Hello. Uh, 
Yes. Are you able to? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. We are able. Are to... you able to hear? Are you able to hear me? Yeah, we are able. But uh, are you? Okay, sir. Please. Are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, Hello. we are able to hear you. Okay, good. Good evening or good afternoon, whatever the case. Now you are after a heavy lunch and enjoying after Ganesh Sadhuti to your meeting. Why? Why we are doing it on after the Ganesh Sadhuti? Because we should be blessed by Ganesha for our valuation course. One. Second, what we have done in Coimbatore and all other places throughout India, the valuation profession is most important for everything. Whether you know it or not, you will have every day in your assignments. But we as IOB doing it professionally for the sake of the valuers to get better knowledge to add to the existing system and give that efficiency in a most required manner for everyone in every assignment. That is the main purpose. As uh, Lele has said, he has told about ecosystem, he has told about sugar industry and all other things because Finally, he stopped with cooking. I don't know, still he is cooking. But anyhow, for everything, A to Z, valuation is important. And IOV is organizing this program for the sake of the values fraternity to help the profession by anybody else. This training will give them an upliftment and give an assignment also for the future. This is a new assignment, which will be useful for the anyone plus anybody. And as uh, empathy and ethics they are telling, they should have anybody doing the profession, they should have the empathy and ethics. Without these things, if anybody doing it, they will be in trouble later on. That's why the IBBA gentleman is, just, is insisting on this matter clearly during our standards meeting in Coimbatore. Similarly, when I will explain A to Z about the details of the course, okay, we are going to start on 23rd September. You attend, then you will feel, you will enjoy it and you will come up. If you miss the bus, you are in trouble, not we. Therefore, by IOV is in upper hand in the in India for everything in this professional. And we have experts in our, with, uh, our field and they will guide you properly. And if you have the proper basics or in other words, fundamentals, then you can do anything better in any time. And you start in a better day and get this certificate. Later on, you will see the enjoyment of the certificate for professional way and which you are capable. You think you, you don't know. It is not there. We are here to give you all the details. What do you want? Ask us. Anybody, just give send a mail or call any one of us. We are here to support you. We want this valuation profession is coming up in a bigger way and this course is going to benefit for the future huh, in short time. And it's not big. It is not difficult. It's very simple if you understand it. And we will explain it as you need it. That's what we are trying to do for the betterment. Okay? Enjoy, learn more, uh, then come up in your profession and also life. Okay? Anyhow, we wish you to take part and go ahead. And I thank Lele and Vinay to take the initiative to again promote. You know, IOV is taking a lot of steps in every way. What you want, we are here. Unless you 
tell us we will be providing you okay that that's why we are doing it please feel free to assist you we are open minded we are not going to carry anything with us we will be with you only please take care join the course enjoy and get the certificate and we want to be a better value in soon with our group thank you thank you very much thank you sir thank you very much for your such uh, blessings blessings inspiring and motivational words uh, we have heard and i think uh, what we are seeing is uh, from different uh, 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 people that uh, they are inspired they 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 uh, by your uh, words of wisdom for this particular thing and we, we are we are doing for them only we are doing for this for them only not for us we have exactly. the knowledge we have people and we will share with them so that they will be easily obtained and then take a proportion and come up very well okay go ahead yeah. thank you sir thank you thank you so now i think uh, we can take up uh, some question answers before we conclude there are other things uh, which uh, i would be saying but uh, before yes. that i think uh, i i make answer. a move i have an assignment i'll make a move please thank you thank you very much okay okay so thank you sir thank you for so thank you for your blessings thank you so now we can take up the question answer so, sir ye uh, question aa raha hai from one mr yeah will uh, will it create unofficial valuers and spoil the market actually what we are doing is uh, developing the ecosystem we are not disturbing valuers and not uh, neither these people will be called as a valuers these are assistants for valuers surveyors for the valuers uh, how do you that is why we have named it as valuation surveyor okay. neither the valuation professional neither the valuer or because there are three aspects to it and we have already explained yes. one thing is there that uh, nothing is official or unofficial that is the i think what i am getting uh, yes. the valuer or may may pose as a qualified this is a general feeling and this we understand before we we were uh, designing and doing all this these things were very well validated well, along the way to become a valuer one has to be necessarily graduate definitely with 10 yeah. years experience uh, if it is ibbi it is 5 years experience plus exam so it's not a simple thing uh, for a layman to become a valuer so there should not so, be any threat to others Uh, when we are creating assistance i ask you a question you are an engineer after doing your btech which you have taken four years uh, doing btech do you think when the moment you came out could you really say with confidence that now i am an engineer yeah. you you may be holding a degree yeah. but can could you say yeah yeah, yeah. definitely not <laughs> fine because you are true to yourself so now you have to work you have to gain the experience and then there are now in this uh, so much of competition is there in the modern world that uh, there are so many skill sets you require for further you know diversification or for further this thing in uh, valuation case somehow it has become a part time kind of a thing very few of our valuers are totally dedicated professional valuers now suppose you are an engineer and you are doing already doing like that you may be holding some engineering projects you may be doing some uh, engineering professional projects but at the same time you are also a valuer and you are taking up the valuation assignments now these two two things can you really say that these two things match and mala to my best of my knowledge they don't your being an engineer it becomes very easy to uh, develop my wala your mind in a valuation field but at the same time you have done your masters in valuation even i have done it because to know the basic nuances in valuation which is very vital so uh, saying that uh, this unqualified well that is where we fall short because getting a job done by a basic uh, 10 plus 2 guy or maybe a matriculate guy what you have explained uh, or usse hum wo kaam karwana chahe jo uh, which is part of our job 
becomes very difficult and that was the view how we came to build this courses because of that view we gathered from so many values so what said jaisen bhai akela value i am a alone value the suppose i get a call from bank then i have to go to bank speak to manager take papers so if there are any discrepancies tell him ye nahi hai wo nahi hai and uh, uh, take papers from him and then visit the property then prepare a report and then submit a report to the bank if i have to do it uh, all by myself so isme mera 3 din jayega so if i have yeah the initiative module is excellent that is the question the initiative module is excellent suggesting to introduce a state specific module as terminology rules are different in different states specific specifically for uh, land and building sir so your question is very pertinent definitely uh, but here i would say that uh, you see the design of the courses just a uh, basic course basic so we uh, if we uh, start going into the detail the course then becomes a very hefty one and very long one and which is not required suppose a person is uh, gets trained in delhi i am taking an example of delhi now he has to work in uh, madhya pradesh where you belong to so at that time he he would be required to know the uh, local bylaws and all those things but if he knows what is the meaning of bylaw or what is the meaning of the act we want to stress upon that only and they say he should know what is it basically and how it is gets implied so that, that is the jaise koi plot develop karna hai to uh, the boiler will tell ki yahan se 10 foot chhod do yahan se 10 foot chhod do delhi mein 10 foot chhodte rahenge aur idhar 5 foot chhodenge kitna to maloom hai ki kuch to chhodna hai kuch chhodna hai matlab what is the sanction plan and ki wo sanction plan mein kya the smell of it taste of it yes that is the purpose sir thank you pumesh ji for joining so any other question uh, if somebody has please feel free we have we have uh, organized we have organized this webinar particular to, to attend all any any uh, you know uh, whatever comes to our mind because i know very well that these these and things this bring uh, uh, first uh, of its kind yes. uh, if you ask us questions we can improvise yes definitely it is our purpose basic purpose so, because that first time it is always uh, difficult yes. to and develop and the thing and uh, uh, in process also we may be developing yes. because it is a first of its kind in india this course has never been attempted to yes. to my best of knowledge it has never been attempted yeah, 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 yeah. and it is not to give a workforce which would be competing with the existing value let me be very explicitly clear it is it is not at all our idea or not at all our comment yeah. yeah. it is the development of ecosystem yes ecosystem and the layering layering the the layer which is going to support our uh, entire fraternity it is basically there this course for assistant graduate sir no it is not uh, uh, i can uh, i uh, is this course for assistant valuers who are those who are members of iob not associate valuers associate valuers associate valuers no 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 it is not this course. by doing this course one cannot become a associate valuer of the institution of valuers let me be very clear in this but associate valuers if they do this course definitely they will gain something that, that is a different or any even valuer do uh, attend this course he will gain something that is for sure or in our class and when we are there uh sir uh, the where how the class timings are going to be we are uh, trying that these class uh, these trainings maximum of this will be online and that to on on the, the weekend maybe 3 to 4 hours weekend classes uh, that will span around 3 months and uh, uh, the minimum qualification for joining the course is 10 plus 2 this is very clear but it is not restricted that you are only 
And where will be the internship, sir? Internship mostly will be in your areas, where you, wherever you are residing, the nearby values. So, right now, we have a very good response, and uh, we are seeing that most of them are already working or with values or uh, like that. Sir, uh, I would add to what you have said. We have kept minimum qualification as 10 plus 2 or 10 plus ITI or 10 plus uh, diploma. But we have received the applications by no PhD scholars also. So the people are yes. taking it seriously yes. and uh, in a different way. Today morning also we met a research assistant uh, who is doing PhD, but uh, who is not in this valuation profession. After hearing about this course, she was willing to join this course because gaining knowledge is a motive. Does this course offer recording in class so that working people can see report? So that we will be deciding later on what will be the modus of ready. But uh, right now we we are uh, not in that uh, we have not decided about whether we will offer the recording class. So the purpose of the classroom training is an interactive one. We may be offering. There is not. Uh, we we have. We are not saying no. And we are not saying yes. That will depend upon our attendance and all those other things. Uh, because once if a person is going to take examinations. We are aware that he may be requiring some recording of the classroom. Okay. So that would be one of the tool, but right now not. One question has come: Can this course uh, be done? I need to start along with the definitely. Definitely, it is designed like that only. It is a weekend course, and uh, Saturday first half uh, is, uh, is proposed by us. So every Saturday three hours. Uh, is the proposed no, timing sir, no, no, no. to the next question is regarding internship do i need oh, to start along with this sir this is not a requirement if you get the internship once you have, you have enrolled in, in so yeah, that yeah. will be taken account we will be requiring the certificate from the valuer with whom you are doing the internship so we will be requiring a certificate from him that he has started his internship with the him but that will we will be considering on the yeah, day one when we one guess and roll at the class when the class classes start. So after that, the six months internship that is that is a minimum requirement. And uh, uh, this is uh, so you uh, need uh, you 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 rest assured you can after taking the course also you can take uh, you can take internship. So that may, that means you are doing for three or four months. And then you take up the internship for six months. So the entire course is designed in such a way that we would be giving the credit. It is a credit based uh, this thing. We will be uh, after uh -huh. taking, uh, after the examinations, we will be crediting the your attendance, uh, your examinations. This all thing will be uh, taken uh, and your internship. There will be a bouquet of uh, credit. Yeah, uh, one thing to ex uh, elaborate is uh, completing the course uh, does not mean that you will get certificate. You have to pass the exam. We will be taking exam exactly. time to time. Uh, section wise. Uh, section wise. So uh, after uh, passing the exam and completing the internship only, you will get the certificate of valuation provider. Uh, one question is uh, to start the valuation practice, is it mandatory to get IBDA certificate? Not really so in India right now. Not really so. Uh, one uh, uh, the institution of values. Internship uh, on the day one, then they are the certificate of the uh, membership. And so one can start practicing by joining the institution of values. Uh, what will be the mode of examination? Yeah, more or less, it will be online. It will be online. MCQ and this, uh, this, uh, the descriptive. Another question is a person has real estate experience, but not me. Sir, we are most welcome. We would like people like you who can really uh, contribute uh, to the fraternity or to the ecosystem better. So we'll be definitely uh, welcome you to join our this course.
course fees is uh, uh, we can explain but uh, i think you uh, if you have approached the voucher the uh, brochure it is absolutely ex explained in that so uh, in so brochure is being displayed yes uh, we have given a very flexi plan that according to the sections, like there are six sections. So on the basis of the credits and all other calculations and everything, like computer proficiency, we are not charging anything. If you are already uh, prompt in this, or you have already, uh, uh, you have the uh, proper uh, proofs of your proficiency in computer, uh, you see. Uh, then we will accept it and you have to pass the examination, that's all. And similarly in the language and communication also. But uh, this uh, week, uh, it is not mandatory, it may not be, but we suggest that people take up this particular section because we would be, uh, we would be, uh, be uh, uh, teaching this or the, the learning uh, pattern is different than the normal language proficiency and communication skills. Then uh, this is basics of valuation. So what uh, what we mean to say is that you can pay even section wise. The only difference will be that if you pay section wise, it will attract the DST. And in case you uh, provide the complete payment in the beginning, that is 12,500, you will be uh, exempt, uh, you will be given a, uh, a discount of 18%. And all these fees are, uh, uh, let me remind you, these are non refundable. Once you have paid, you will have to attend and uh, do be in the uh, course. And that is basic uh, of this. And at the enrollment time, uh, one is required to pay 2500 plus GST. Uh, and even immediately on the enrollment, we are issuing in uh, person a student membership card or the certificate where he becomes a member of uh, institution of value as a student member so, in accordance with the pay 12,500 plus 2,000. Yes. So, 15,000. 15,000. Inclusive of GST. Uh -huh. But if we so pay it in section, then it is more. It pays one time, then it is uh, not over 15,000. Yes. But if it pays in section, then GST will be added. Yes. Exactly. Any other question? Do we have any other question? I am a life member and a full valuer. Can I start a practice if it is to show Well, uh, uh, you can start your practice. You are an approved value from IOV. Uh, uh, registration under well tax uh, it is it depends, on bank. depends upon different banks and uh, for impanelment purposes, they have different categories. There are sets of rules. It is better you have the registration under well tax uh, act or you can take uh, the IBBA registration uh, course where the uh, it is wider. Uh, as far as the practice is concerned. But uh, uh, I would uh, suggest that you also attend this course because what you uh, your it is uh, evident is that you are not already in the practice. So you can this course that. can give you a very good uh, in, uh, you know information regarding how, how to go about the practice. In short, Vinayji, I think this uh, course is foundation of our values. Exactly, exactly. We are, yeah. we are actually, we are, uh, we have, you have prepared this course, which I, I can say that it is a foundational course, basically foundational course, where one can reach to any heights, depending upon his qualifications, his, uh, you know, faculties, mind, mental faculties, and uh, aptitude ultimately and that comes with the experience and other uh, uh, sir Thank if you. i have cleared the ibb exam recently do i require to no sir you are not required to it is not mandatory but if you want to you are most welcome because what mr lele has just said that it is a foundational course 
its scores will help IBBA exam. Uh, yes, to uh, to a certain extent, I would say, to a certain extent, where because so so many terminologies, so many basic things which we find that in their exam, the which is MCQ based, a number of times such terminologies come handy. Come, yeah, it comes handy. So it can that uh, that can See, be like uh, morning we were discussing uh, essay. Asset. A common yes. man will not know what is asset. asset. And what is a tangible but when asset? You are in the a, valuation practice, you, you know what to understand what is But this in foundation course, they will come to know what is a asset. And what is a tangible asset and what is intangible asset. Different, different types of So asset. this vocabulary would get automatically developed. Developed. Definitely. Uh, so this will is will a it will help in the uh, Without foundation, the building cannot grow. Yes, yes, yes. It is a basic foundation course, rightly, very rightly, actually put. And that is why we have taken 10 plus 2. Because we believe that at that stage, a, a, a poor student, a poor, uh, uh, maybe a, a son or a daughter of a poor parents or whatnot, they are, they are uh, you know, they are worried about their future. They are worried about what, what course of life what course of uh, you know uh, life they can take at, at that time these kind of courses and we, which is we are we are because we are in an evaluation field so we have to be like uh, doing this and this uh, valuation knowledge is a general knowledge so it is useful any uh, day of life Definitely. any part of life any part of so when one is learning the you know computers language and other aspects financial reading like so, he, this person can uh, will not be restricted. The world would be wide multi open, multi faceted, multi faceted. Well, Sir, uh, is it online or physical? We uh, it will be hybrid. Uh, maximum part of it will be online, but some part will be physical uh, also. And the and the whole that West Bengal, I have applied. Uh, sir. Uh, uh, Sandeep ji, I would uh, suggest uh, that uh, this is a this is nothing to do with this our today's program. Uh, we'll have to check uh, if it is under hold, and uh, we'll have to check at West Bengal whether the revenue tax registration. If you have any documentary proof regarding this, you can uh, separately send it to Institution of Values uh, web uh, email address. You may be knowing. So, because in this we will not be able to. Please send us details. You send us mail. We will send us the replies sir, accordingly after checking. Thank you. I think uh, it's. Uh, let's see. Sorry, it's been, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, a, now I think uh, another thing I would uh, like to share with you is, this is the course institution of valuers. They are uh, becoming a member of institution of values in a proper manner. Offers so many uh, activities uh, which no other organization seems to have, is doing. Like we are uh, publishing a monthly magazine, uh, Indian Valuer, uh, which is which gives a lot of information and uh, regarding valuation only. The beauty of this uh, Indian Value magazine is that it provides a, a, a state of art and, uh, and up to date contemporary uh, information and other related materials in valuation field only. One. And secondly, we throughout the country, we have uh, around 50 branches. Every region uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, we have, we have approached and we are continuously holding several of seminars, webinars, workshops, lecture meetings. And at the end of the year, every year, we are we organize an Indian Valuer Congress to you, uh, comprehend or you can say, uh, to create a, such a, uh, a networking place. Yeah. And to globalize the profession. And for this year, to globalize the profession, we are holding Global Valuation Summit. So, uh, you 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 enter into an arena of uh, environment. You enter into kind of uh, env environment uh, when once you are in 
such a program during such a program meeting so many values meeting so many bankers and other areas who are concerned yeah, that gives great exposure yes it is a it's a uh, real good exposure and networking opportunity offered by institution of values and it is being offered since 1968 yeah. not today so that is our flagship uh, this thing other than we have got many publications and other information to all and sundry so this is one of our courses it's not the only course it is one of the our courses being hold yeah. so we are also, we have also course in the import and export evaluation but that is the bit the well, more technical yeah, and yeah, 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 that, that is a high end uh, yeah. course this is for a so, common man course my yeah. my message is learn unlearn and relearn that is how you can grow or anybody or anybody this is a basic learn unlearn and relearn and in our this we we all are embarking on this uh, journey of knowledge growth and transformation yeah. and uh, let's create an ecosystem where society can bank on us yeah. society can trust and us. becomes helpful to all the parties efforts of the india system but so thank you again thank you leela ji very much and, thank uh, you so with the words that uh, join the course uh, give us feedback so that we can improve and uh, join gvs uh, at uh, navi mumbai in november thank you so much and for, for just for information of everybody we will we will be choosing the regions also like regional languages and all would be then become more important for prominent wo wahan par unko thoda regional languages mein bhi hum koshish kare we will be soon coming up with other regions who will be independently holding this program the course and other things will be the same but the uh, regional language and all this uh, that uh, that will be that we develop uh, yes in that next stage so it will not be restricted to english or hindi only yeah. it will be on uh, in other language in that but presently uh, the presently. to begin with we are the course will be in english and english. Uh, you will be uh, explained in english and uh, it required hindi yeah, yeah. thank you thank you thank you all namaskar